I'm Megan with Happy Tails Pet Care and I'm a professional pet expert and nutrition consultant. My goal is to educate people about animals and help pet owners provide the best care to their beloved pets. See a pet in my video you like? Let me know and I will feature that pet in more videos. Hey guys, so I got a request to do a video about how to take care of a rainforest opossum. This is my rainforest opossum Reepicheep and they're also called short-tailed opossums or Brazilian opossums. So this video is going to be about how to care for your pet possum, the right cage, and handling and diet. They're not a common pet, but they are becoming more popular in the exotic pet market. They're from South America, south of the Amazon River, mostly in Brazil. I'm gonna let him go back to sleep during this video because they are nocturnal and they mostly just like to come out during the night. They are pretty small pets. This one here is full grown. He tolerates being handled very well. However, they are not the cuddliest pet. They can be very friendly, but they do require a lot of time by themselves. These guys are solitary creatures in nature and spend pretty much the entire time by themselves. They only come together during mating, so it's important to only keep one per cage if you do decide that this is the pet for you. They are nocturnal for the most part, so they only come outside during the day, usually to go to the bathroom or sometimes they will wake up, but generally they're going to be very active at night. You can take them out during the day to socialize with them and they're not as light sensitive as some of the other nocturnal species. They should be fed in the evening when they're about to wake up. Females in general are tidier than males. They will usually only use one part of the cage as a restroom so you can put a litter box in there for them. Females take more care in building a nest where they sleep. However, males don't put too much effort into it. They are very clean little creatures and they don't smell very much if you clean their cage about once a week. There are many different types of cages that you can go with. Behind me is the cage that I use for my possum. So I'm gonna give you a tour of that cage in a little bit. The cage that I have is a bird cage and it's actually a really good size cage for an opossum. I've seen people use hamster cages and generally these are too small for what a possum needs. I've also seen people recommend a 20 gallon tank as the good size for them. However, I feel that this is very small for them and they do really enjoy climbing. So something vertical rather than long is better. Bird cages work really well as long as the bar spacing is 0.5 inches. Anything bigger than that your possum could escape from. So it's important to get 0.5 inch bar spacing. They also don't chew on the bars like many other pets. They're not rodents. I've also seen people use crudination cages, which is fine. That's a perfectly good cage for them. However, if that's the cage that you want to provide, that's perfectly fine. They will do well in that cage, but they don't need something quite that large. It's really important to always provide a wheel for them. That is going to be their most favorite thing in the cage. They love running on the wheel all night long. So just make sure that you always put a wheel in the cage. And let's take a look at his cage. This is my opossum's cage. It is 13 by 25 by 36 inches. The cage has the secure doors with the little hooks so that he's not able to open them by himself. I keep the sliding doors locked with zip ties. He has a lot to climb on and interact with in the cage. I use the dishes that the cage comes with for the birds. It works for him as well for his water. He has a house on the bottom. And he has his wheel there. And he also has this house here. It's a coconut. His favorite house is this one. It's actually made for a bird, so you can find it in the bird section in the pet stores. And that's his favorite house. It's important to provide a lot of different things for them to climb on. And I also keep some pieces of material in his house so that he can use them as blankets. Moving on to diet, it is really important to remember that exotic pets require specific diets and generally they require fresh food every day. I have seen packaged food for opossums, but it's not common to find it in a pet store. It's usually very difficult to find and you have to order it. 
However, I don't recommend these foods anyway. Packaged food is usually really bad for pets. I will put a link in the description of this video to another video that I did talking about kibble and why it's really bad for pets. I've seen a lot of people feed these guys all kinds of different kibble from dog food to cat food as well as ferret food and hedgehog food. However, kibble is not a good food for any animal really and it's definitely not a good food for possums. So I don't recommend any type of processed uh, dry kibble for them. For kibble is not good for them as a regular diet. It is okay to feed them some high quality cat food every once in a while in small amounts but it has to be high quality cat food. It can't be anything cheap that's full of corn. A grain-free food would be best. And if I don't feed him any processed kibble for the most part, you're probably wondering what I do feed him. So I do give him a little bit of high quality cat food every once in a while, but his main diet is fresh food. In the wild, these guys eat meat and small amounts of fruits and vegetables. I will cook chicken breast for him or ground turkey, or give him a hard boiled egg or a scrambled egg, and once in a while I also include fish. It's also great to provide them with bugs on a regular basis. His favorite food is actually superworms, he loves those. Mealworms and crickets are good as well. I feed him freeze dried grasshoppers and crickets because live ones can escape the cage. Reba Cheap has a huge sweet tooth and loves fruit. Some of his favorites are cantaloupe, berries, and grapes. He will eat some vegetables, but he doesn't like them very much, so a great way to get him to eat his veggies, I have found, is to blend them with some fruit. For example, I will give him some zucchini that is pureed with bananas and kiwi. Things that are good for them as treats is canned cat food, as long as it is a high quality and it's a small amount as well as yogurt drops. Pureed baby food is also something that they enjoy. It's just important to look at the list of ingredients to make sure that there's no extra sugar added to it. There isn't a lot of information about what is harmful to these guys. So what I do is I just stay away from foods that are harmful to other animals for the most part. For example, things like onions, garlic, mushrooms are generally harmful to other animals. So that's something that I keep out of his diet. I also keep foods out of his diet that are very high in toxicity, such as avocado and tomatoes. I'm not saying that these things are harmful and going to kill them, but since there isn't a lot of information about what does make them sick, as a precaution, I just don't let them eat these certain things. It's a good idea to get your opossum from a breeder, somebody who's been handling them since they were born. And generally in pet stores, these are gonna be possums that have been handled. You can also bribe your opossum with treats and get a bonding pouch so that you can keep them with you and they can start to smell your scent. Sometimes they will let you know when they've had enough and they usually do that by showing their teeth. So if they are snarling at you and showing their teeth, it is best to leave them alone and then try again later. Opossums are not common pets and there's not a whole lot of information about them. This is what I have found works best for them, so hopefully it's able to help you give them the best care that you can. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I put out a new video every week talking about different types of pets. So I'll see you guys again next week.